Today I have the Viera Expert. Quintessential. <laughs> OG Viera OG. Expert. She's been selling in Viera for 23 early, years. Yeah, early 2000s. So today I figured I have Susie from Viera Builders mm -hmm. on and we're gonna talk about everything you really need to know about Viera if you're considering making the move, whether it's new construction, which is up Susie's alley mm -hmm. or resale. We're gonna go over all that and make sure you stick to the end because we've got some great information for you. All right, the first question I have for you, mm -hmm. and like you said, you've been selling in 23 years now. Yep. So where did Viera start and where is it now? And It's really a cool story because the family that owns the, all the land mm -hmm. actually started, is still in agriculture, but they didn't start actually in our county, but in the 20s, they started selling celery. Mm -hmm. And eventually around the 50s, they bought a lot of land in Brevard County. And when I moved here, Viera West, which is now predominantly where we're selling, was all, you know, basically pasture. It was sod, ranch, and celery, and radishes, things like that. But that was the very first, the birth of year, if you want to say it that way, came in 1989 on the east side, mm -hmm. when people watching maybe not knowing, but east side, west side, refers to what side of 95. Yeah, I'll pull up a map yeah. too, so you can see. On the east side was the first parcel sold to a developer, it became Indian River Colony Club. And that was basically the birth of Viera. In 2000, and I want to say two, an article came out from AARP and said Viera is the best place to retire. So everybody's grandparents came down here and the family was like, no, we want to be like a cradle to grave. They had this concept of, we want people to start their first home and then maybe transition up into their second or third home and then maybe downsize into their next final home mm -hmm. or and as we have assisted living we have senior living they can have all kinds of lifestyles there mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool yeah it definitely it has a little bit of everything for everyone whether you're like yeah. even 18 just looking for an apartment so when you know, we came, <laughs> right and when cool we came over to the west side of 95 they made a real big effort the push was to make it more family centric mm -hmm. and not like a retirement area we didn't okay. start until basically 2009 we were selling to other developers okay. at, so and so basically majority all of Vera East is not ours. And we started in East and Landing, Daintree and East and Landing was our first community mm -hmm. that we started building homes. And that was in response to the market crash. I'll mm -hmm. be quite honest. There was a lot of builders at the time, nationals primarily, some regional, that just said they were pulling stakes and they couldn't complete neighborhoods. Yeah. So they were at a position like, well, what do we do with this now? We can't leave half finished communities. So they basically started Viera Builders mm -hmm. and that was the birth of Viera. Yeah, so well, that decision they It was a good decision. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we uh, still sold land to other developers to develop, but eventually and slowly they became, we're pretty much 75% of our own market. Mm -hmm. Unless you're buying 55 plus or you're buying a custom Mm -hmm. you're buying from us yeah so yeah. real quick so if you're looking for 55 plus the a community is available that's not ours it's right Del it's Webb. not yours yeah mm -hmm. so currently building Dell Webb resale Lennar Bridgewater and, Bridgewater. Mm -hmm. and uh, Heritage Isles Heritage Isles that's in Grand West. Isle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then the east side has Indian Grand River. Isle so Susie what makes Viera so desirable I've started more and more I'm telling people Viera is the lifestyle mm -hmm. so Viera has, it's a golf cart friendly community. It has A-rated schools. It has shopping, dining, entertainment within minutes from where you live. So that's what makes it so desirable. Mm -hmm. You can't beat it with the stick for resale value. It just, it's hard to find another part of the county where people make a really good return on their investment. When you have buyers, like I have a buyer now who's bought three houses with me, four houses, mm -hmm. another one that's in their second purchase. When they keep coming back and they do their move up or their move down or their whatever it is their next move is with you, that says a lot about just yeah. Viera in general. Mm -hmm. Viera means faith. The family is a very faith-based company mm -hmm. and they really truly believe that's part of their success is God has given them their, you know, favored mm -hmm. in some way. And so they have actually donated or given very low cost land to churches. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of different denominations, a lot is, of yeah. different churches. Every year they have Light Up Viera, which is a big parade that they do every year. Mm -hmm. It's packed, it mm -hmm. is packed. Yeah. And they just do a lot of things that are very 
family centric. Yeah. I thought it was interesting. So today too, when I was getting some footage for this video and I was driving around. And so as I drive around, I just noticed, okay, people, there's some places they don't have the cars or at work. Mm -hmm. Some people, the playgrounds were filled, like you're not filled, mm -hmm. but there was kids and the, you know their parents it's at really the playground cool about our playgrounds too I'll tell yeah you. yeah they're yeah they're, I noticed them. they're all yeah they're all around and then also and then i went to the avenues and then you see more of a older crowd mm -hmm. too that are you know retirement age and they're just out living mm -hmm. their life out to panera i went to panera with Panera's their friends yeah. i overheard this these this these friends group of women they're like oh my god could you believe i'm from connecticut and i just it, it was just interesting i gotta join no <laughs> I'm from Connecticut. I'm from Connecticut. That's no so wonder funny. we liked each other. Yes. <laughs> but it was interesting because you see all the different walks of life in mm -hmm. here, which is, and then as I was leaving, the schools were getting out and you like the 16 mm -hmm. year olds driving their golf carts home. Yep. And so it's just, there's all different walks of life there, which is, it's very interesting. And it's still, there's still some part of Vera that is growing. You still see mm -hmm. like the landscaping isn't mature, at least in Vera West, mm -hmm. that you still see all the building, but then you also like, you see the avenues and it's all that going on. But then every time I go there, I swear I see like a new building being like, yeah. well, all the these avenues are like 20 years old. Did you not? Yeah, they've it, been, they don't look like they're 20 yeah, years old. They're, they're, they're re, like brand kind of refreshing it right now, but mm. yeah. Haven't just been around for a while. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it's a good, let's go into all the commercial okay. aspects of Viera. So Viera, again, it's a mixed use plan development. So basically what that means to you is close by will be hotels, supermarkets, restaurants, movie theaters, entertainment. So those kind of venues are going to be there. Mm -hmm. Their newest venue that they're that's under development is called Borrows West, which for people who don't know, that means they borrowed the dirt for building the area. <laughs> so that's why you have those big lakes. You see the big oh, lakes there? They okay. borrowed the dirt. That's why it's Borrowers West. I feel like Viera always has a reason, for, a reason for all their names. It's so interesting. Some of them are very unique. And they're, I think they're Yugoslavian, the families mm -hmm. from yeah. Yugoslavia. And so a lot of the names are hard to pronounce too. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have a relationship to farming, agricultural, even like horses, ranching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so a lot of that comes. Some of them you'll see, you can tell their family names, a girl's name or a boy's name. Mm -hmm. So it depends. They, it's a very cool they do that. But in Barrows West, like I said, the very most common, the most newest area is gonna have two hotels, one with a rooftop bar. They have a wine place already that's getting ready to open. Mm -hmm. A couple of restaurants, new restaurants. And they have a cool area now where they have these, they're actually considered adult swings so that you can, after dinner, go sit out on the swing. Oh my and, gosh, I didn't hear yeah, about this. And look at the lake and I everything. I love this. There's a walking trail. I think it's about a mile around the lake. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a man-made lake, but it's a big lake. Yeah. There's a industrial corporate park that's coming there. As you've already seen apartments, a lot, not a lot, but there's apartments there, senior living for memory care. Mm -hmm. um, and right below it is the new middle school that they're, that's under development right now as well. So that's, it's a very concentrated area, but there's a lot of stuff coming in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whole Foods is coming. Now that is actually technically, I hate to break everyone's feelings in Rockledge, but <laughs> it's technically Viera. Vera, for a lot of people who don't know, because if you're searching Oh no, I thought you were gonna say it's not coming. No, it's, it's coming. I see it being built. But Vera, okay. if you don't understand the area, they're not incorporated. So they don't have their own zip code, their own services are provided mm -hmm. from the two different municipalities. One area is a Rockledge zip code, 32955, and the other one's Melbourne, 32940. Technically, if you really were parsing hairs, it's just at that Vera yeah, area, so. It's a Rockledge zip code. Because it was funny, because a lot yeah. of locals, oh, it's Rockledge. Yeah. You know, why yeah. did they say that? What's important to know as you're home shopping is that your Vieira address might have a Rockledge address or a Melbourne address. But, but the it, po post office will let you write Vieira. They will let you write Vieira as you home search the MLS mm -hmm. not have a Vieira address. So right. it is important to and know So that. I know it's a, little con it's a little confusing for consumers who are looking specifically in Vieira. Mm -hmm. Because I know from doing general real estate, when you go on to the consumer side of, a, of an MLS, it asks for a zip code. So sometimes it'll bring you into Suntree or further south in yes. Melbourne. Yeah. Rockledge will pull in some older stuff or stuff by the river. Yeah. It's it if you don't know that, then and you're like, why well, I want Vieira? Why can't I find Vieira? That's why. Yeah, you gotta call me up. 
Yeah, that. there you gotta call the expert. I do it for you. Yeah, like I said, every time I'm driving through Viera, there's always something new popping up, which is like it this, is this, the adult changing. swings. I'm very intrigued yeah. by. That's the first time I've heard about them. They're not up yet, right? No, nope, they're all new construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned the new middle school too. So mm -hmm. that's going to make now there's a school for every single age level now. Prior to that, they were sent to Satellite Beach. And it's important to know, obviously, the middle school isn't going to have a rating yet, but they're all um, A rated. Yeah, they're right now, every school that we have mm -hmm. is A rated. Yeah. Yeah. Which is a big draw. Mm -hmm. um, we have a couple of charters. Yes, charters mm -hmm. and then private too, right? There is a new one coming online, but it's more of a day school. I want to say it's like a preschool. Yeah, there is a new, I heard Goddard's about that. or something like yes, that? Yes. Yeah, so now there's going to be two, because there's one yeah. currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's two and child care. there was at one time, I don't know if it's still moving forward, but I did see a boarding school coming over by Rock This is what we're talking about. I'm shocked this is yeah, the person here. Really, I was shocked, because sometimes, I'll be honest with you, because salespeople talk too much, we're the last people to know. <laughs> they sometimes, I find out sometimes from a realtor or from somebody who's doing some research on the area and like Goddard, they were like, oh, we're interested in that school for our kids. And I've heard a lot of good things, but I'm like, where the heck's that? Yeah. And then the minute they leave, yeah. I'm looking it up. And then it just came out the news like last right. month and we're just right. out. Yeah. The new restaurant too, that just came. Ford's. For the one we went to. Oh, Urban Prime. Yes. That was really Prime. good too. Everyone was all into Urban Prime because that's a chef owned. It's not a franchise. Local, local chef owned. Mm -hmm. And they also have a little market there too. Mm -hmm. So if you want to pick up like lunch. And he was one of the owners of the, was it the Green Turtle? Down on Fifth Ave. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. the other thing that's coming up by Urban Prime, which is cool, which I'm excited about, because disclosure, I'm building with Vera Builders too. We're going to gonna get to that. Okay. Is they're going to do a permanent food truck park. Wow. Yeah. So they're going to do a big canopy area and the food truck owners will have their own stall. I believe they'll probably rent it mm -hmm. and there'll be picnic tables and stuff like that. Oh, that's that'll be a permanent fixture over yeah. by Urban Prime. Huh. That'll be cool. Yeah. Because yeah, there is a lot of space over there. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's even going to be like a band stage or something at some point. <laughs> there's so yeah. much going on. There is. There's so much yeah. going on. Yeah. It's yeah. so funny. And the cool thing is you can literally, if you're living in Vera West, you can hop on your golf cart yep. and go to everywhere. And if you're, even if you live in Vera East is a little bit older. Yeah. Uh, but you can't cross over the... You can't yeah. cross off in your cross over in your golf cart, no. but it is a more re, it's more affordable in Vera East yes. than Vera West, and you're still it's, it's very. So funny. I think if they open up Spyglass that will go over, you oh. will be able to take your golf cart. There you go, that'll be great. That's why all the East people are like, when are you going to open Spyglass? Yeah. That's been like, it's the same question like, when are you going to have a middle school? That was like, mm -hmm. it's been in the lexicon for about 20 years. When are we gonna have Spyglass go over? Did you also hear that they're extending in Lake Washington, Lake Washingtonia to go into the Pineda Causeway? It will. And if you go down to Pangea mm -hmm. and Laurasia, that road wraps around, it'll eventually all connect. Do you know what the timeline is for that? I never, no. It's not all, I know Vieira puts money into the project, but it's also government as well so i think there's a, a and there has to be a lot maybe traffic count or something like that it has to be a reason for all to yeah. open up before it actually gets done interesting yeah. yeah but i think that's gonna like the new construction right over there in washingtonia is gonna skyrocket right. for us access. it's gonna stop really like just below pangea mm -hmm. there's not a big considering all our other parcel sizes it's not a large track that's left we're almost two-thirds through the second, finishing up the second phase. Okay. We have three phases. Vera's gonna Yeah, so let's go into the new construction now, mm -hmm. which is your expertise. You're selling the new construction. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, just go through all the new neighborhoods. The new neighborhoods that are not in Addison, which is the old new neighborhood. I Literally, guess like say. last year it was so like, new. Yeah, bleak, you're not, bleak and I and it's the yeah. old neighborhood. We're talking about neighborhoods that are south of Pineda. So that would be Pangea mm -hmm. and Del Webb, which again is not ours, and Bridgewater, again, not ours. There's another, that's actually just above, that's actually just above Pineda. But that area's in that new section, and that Airy Pica, which again is the custom community. But so we have, Pangea is almost sold out for the most part in our single family collection. Mm -hmm. We have one section of it that's still available, and it's in the Stella collection. 
And then once we d we're done with that, Pangea is done. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like to me, it's like, I feel like it's been a blink of an eye. Yeah. And then Laurasia is literally adjacent to Pangea. And that we have just the first phase open up and there's a second phase coming, which will be more in the area that's preserved with all the walking trails and everything. That won't open up probably maybe till another year. I'm not sure. But we have two communities coming online. One's called Cross Malina and the other one is, calling, is called Farlon Fields. Cross Malina is, and all those, most of the homes going into those two communities are the floor plans uh, with a different elevation. They'll look different from the street um, that we were building in Pangea. Real quick, elevation. Elevation. Yeah. I know, a lot of people think that's like how the height of the house off the, cause that's a term I guess they use in when you're doing. That's like height, yeah. usually related. But when you're doing lot fits and surveys. Mm -hmm. Elevation just means how it looks from the street. What is the, the tone of the house? Is it modern? Is it coastal? Is it farmhouse? Those are the elevations. Okay. So we're going into more of a mid-century modern. Uh, here's one of the elevations. I'm not sure about the other two. See, that's the other thing they tease us along with it. Cause again, I don't know until they're really ready to say and sign it, this mm -hmm. is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's gonna be basically a replacement community for Pangea, Farland Fields and Cross Malina. And then there's one collection called the Serrano Collection that was built in Reeling Park South mm -hmm. that we retired. And that will have a replacement on a 60 wide lot that will be in Cross Malina behind the gate. So that'll be, in those two communities, the, the most newest collection. Okay. Okay, so the other ones being, what, one or two years old? <laughs> but the very, yeah. very brand new will be the one behind the gate. Mm -hmm. Don't have a name for it yet. I don't know what they're gonna call it. From what I understand, it'll be more of our higher end product. Okay. And it'll have three car garages and things like that. If you know anything about it, you do, of Pangea, our gallery collection, our our Stella collection, all those Aries are all gonna go over into those two communities. Okay. They'll be split up though. Okay. Yeah. What about price ranges and then are any of them going to be gated? Just that one section that replaces the Serrano collection, the name I don't have yet, in Cross okay. Malina, will have a gate area. They'll have what's called behind the gate and outside the gate. Okay. okay? And what was the other question? Aries is a starting off, which is gonna be replaced and Aries should be replaced in I want to say Farland Fields. And okay. that one was starting in the low, I should say mid fours. If it goes well, then it'll probably be high fours. Is Aries a single family or is it? Single family. Okay. Yeah. So Aries is our single family home mm -hmm. a community, a section of Pangea. Then it goes all the way up to the ga gallery. So all the lot sizes change too. So it goes from a 45 wide lot up to a 65 wide, okay? Then you have 50s, 40s, 60s. So it's, there's a lot of mix in that. And then if you're in the gallery collection, that could be like high sevens, low eights. Okay. And that's that's our bigger, definitely a move up buyer, three car garage, mm -hmm. open concept. A lot of these homes have bonus rooms options. So it's gonna have a nice mix. Mm -hmm. We do have another community. I don't think it's gonna come online until maybe 2025 and it hasn't even been named. Okay. And I wanna say it's below Costco, east of Pangea. And that is gonna be, they didn't call it this, but this is maybe old school, but we call it patio homes. So like a 40 wide lot. So it'll be a very affordable option for people. Okay. So patio home basically means you're on a very small lot. Okay. All right. And you have a patio. Okay. Yes. There's not a lot of room for putting pools or maybe even jacuzzis. Okay. It's more about getting into the area for okay. some buyers. For like a starter home. It's a more of a starter, it's a starter home. Yeah. And yeah. side note, I don't know if we mentioned it. We have a Costco. Brand new. Almost yeah. pretty brand new. That's been a big... If you come... I actually... We grew up in Connecticut, but I <laughs> moved to California and I lived there for 21 years. If you don't know California, I can tell you there's a Starbucks and a... Costco almost in every corner. Mm -hmm. So when they opened this one, I was like, what's the big deal? I think it's the... <laughs> so everybody's yeah. so excited about it's it. It's like the elite wholesale. It is. Like, it doesn't like compare crazy. to Sam's Club or BJ's. It's yeah, like so everyone top went tier. bananas for Costco. Yeah. And I'm just like scratching my head, like what's the... 
Yeah, no. I go there. I love the yeah. gas prices are amazing. Yeah, or like my fiance, he'll like his coworkers will go there for hot dogs for lunch. Yeah, my like, husband loves a dollar fifty yeah. hot dogs. <laughs> and you get a soda. So. Yes. Yeah. Can't beat it. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Costco's just mm -hmm. the it girl. I guess it's a world of on to its own. Yeah. yeah. There'll and be then, a hotel down there. I think they're okay. looking for more of a convention style, larger Interesting. hotel. Not like okay. what you've been seeing recently. Mm -hmm. It's like the Homewood Suites. Yeah. Um, Courtyard. The Fairway. The was it Fairview Inn? Yeah. It's going to be more of. They're looking for more of a bigger type venue. Mm, interesting. Okay. All right. For someone considering new construction, mm -hmm. what are the like quick steps, like the process? Like they'll reach, okay. call me first. <laughs> Obviously call her And first. then I'll bring, we'll go and set up an appointment with Susie. Right. And then what happens pre-offer and then they go under contract, all of that. Okay. So unlike resale, you don't, as a consumer, have the ability to make an offer. You basically are going to buy it at the price that the builder presents it. Our incentive right now, it does, it is subject to change is like $9,000. Mm -hmm. I work with a lot of different lenders. I don't try to take away if you have a relationship, I respect that, but mm -hmm. I will tell you or your buyers, hey, just so you know, I have a couple of lender partners. They're not really partners, they're just referrals. They're really trying to earn my business, so they're gonna give you some nice incentives to work with them. Mm -hmm. So in that case, if they do get like closing cost incentives, things like that, I'll take the 9,000 off your purchase price. Then to go into contract, $7,500. And again, this is all subject to change. This can go up or down. Yeah, as, I, of, as of today, yes, you would give me, yep. you, you would, give a $7,500 check. Um, and depending on the community that you're purchasing in, your deposit is, your down payment, I'm sorry, is collected 50 days after you go into contract. So we are unique than some other builders. Some other builders will may, maybe do a percentage down payment, like 10% of the purchase price you would pay as your second deposit. Mm -hmm. We do your full down payment. Once you give your, unless you're doing a construction to perm loan, which most people don't, but if, if they have that option and, and everything that's single family, I think they have that Can option. Can you dumb it down for us a little bit? Construction to perm loan is basically where you close on the loan upfront with the bank and then you pay us in draws. The reason why I don't think it's as popular right now is yeah. it's because of the interest rates. Mm -hmm. Right now, I always tell people to, right now you're dating the rate and we're still in very strong sales environment. We really haven't caught up to the pre-pandemic mm -hmm. that we used to have. Like I could tell somebody, seven, eight months, you'd be in your house. Yeah. Now you're about 12, and hopefully that's gonna shorten. Because I used to tell people, it could be as much as 18 months mm -hmm. when it was really in its... Yeah, and I also think that there is shortcuts that could be made that you could do a smaller time frame but you beer this, builders doesn't take those shortcuts we don't take shortcuts but if you don't have so a lot of people have come to grips in terms with okay if i want to get the house the way i want it and not have to take inventory home the way that the builder has designed the house i'm willing to rent a house that's become the norm mm -hmm. for quite a bit yeah and there's a good yeah. rental inventory a lot of people are too. like okay i just i'm going to deal with mm -hmm. it i'm going to rent a house yeah and that way they can really customize it the way they want yeah it. so going back to the steps and the steps that we're talking about are more so for if you're building it like from scratch yeah. you could they do sometimes have inventory homes we do very rarely and sometimes not you a have very big list lottery of on them. right but going back to the steps they i, I we come, we meet you, they decide on the home, mm -hmm. and then we go under contract that first deposits due. When it is their design dates, and then... Um. So typically they will be contacted the week that they purchase the home, okay? Mm -hmm. Design will reach out to them, schedule an appointment. It's typically, it's been a roughly around 10, 14 days that they come in. And they'll actually have two design appointments, and the first one they call heart of the home, and that's basically all the fun stuff, all the pretty stuff. Okay, again, since I recently just purchased, it was comical because my husband, every time I was talking about adding something, he said, is that extra? Is that extra? Everything's extra. <laughs> yeah. You have to, when you go under contract, you have to account for your upgrades. Upgrades typically are about 10% of the purchase price, typically. Mm -hmm. It could be more, it could be less. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, so you would have a four hour appointment. So it's a long one and you would pick all your design elements mainly. And then you would have a, an appointment the same day with low voltage. So you can have your house completely tricked out 
basically all voice aut uh, automated, or you can do next to nothing mm -hmm. other than what we offer is already standard, like smart home features. And then your second appointment is more the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty, like the lighting, the stuff that's like, you don't really see, maybe behind the drywall kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's another three hour appointment. It's a lot of detail. Yeah. And are there options, do they give options for already included and then upgrades or is everything? So yeah, you would have, they would tell you what's your base level mm -hmm. for whatever collection. And there's options for base? A few, okay. not a lot, but yeah, there's a few. So they'll say, okay, this is the standard package or standard level for whatever your house, wherever you're buying that house. Mm -hmm. And then here's your upgrades. So like I said, most people, it's a rare buyer who, it's a very small percentage of our buyers who keep it at the base level. It's usually somebody who, typically it's a first time home buyer. Mm -hmm. They're just, they really just wanna be in Viera and mm -hmm. that's their goal. Mm -hmm. Like I said, typically it's about 10% of your purchase price. So if you're buying, I'll just use a round number, $800,000, it's not unheard of that you're gonna put about $80,000 into the house as far as upgrades. Mm -hmm. And that includes structural options. It's not just mm -hmm. design stuff. Because remember, if you're buying an $800,000 house, it's typically a larger square footage. It's open concept. So like when you change like the floor in the, in the family room, you're basically changing the flooring in the kitchen and in the cafe area and areas mm -hmm. that you know are included in that open concept. Mm -hmm. That's typically, it, it, there's little things you can do if you're an entry level buyer, first time home buyer things with your countertops, perhaps maybe your cabinetry. Um, door heights are big. I mm -hmm. always tell people we have a, a standard door height, six foot eight, um, but the eight foot doors are huge. Design wise, it just makes the space feel yeah, very big. Absolutely. So I'll tell you like, that's going to be your biggest up, but it will help you on your resale. Mm -hmm. It'll make your house feel like you've done some upgrades. So we keep it, we try to keep it very neutral. When we do an inventory home, just so you're aware of it, we never do an inventory as a base level house. Mm -hmm. We usually replicate, we try to get what people are normally putting in that collection mm -hmm. so that they don't feel like they're getting a basic house. Yeah, mm -hmm. that they feel they've got something upgraded. And the, obviously the advantage to an inventory home is that you can close sooner than a year. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And you can wrap all those upgrades into your mortgage too. Right. So, so it's just a good, just keep in mind that don't start at the top of your budget for the base level. Correct. Start. Lot premiums are not included in our base price. We can't predict which lot you're going to want. And if it has a long or a big water view, or if it's on a preserve where there's lots of privacy in your backyard, mm -hmm. it's going to have a, a premium. Yeah. If you're not so much a great view or your house is on a berm that behind it is, is a busy street. Those are usually standard lots. Yeah. So let's circle back real quick to what may, like one of the aspects that makes Vera so desirable is that there are playgrounds, there's like different amenity centers, like every community has some sort of amenity center, which is. So in Addison, Addison is the, the area that's right now probably, if you're, Buying a new build, you're either in Avalonia or you're in Reeling Park Courtyards, mm -hmm. or you're doing a resale with Rachel. But that actually had a clubhouse. That had the 9,000 square foot clubhouse mm -hmm. with amenities. Two pools, tennis courts, pickleball, inter interior sports court, planned activities. Mm -hmm. I think they had like food truck Fridays and stuff like that ongoing throughout the year. Day camps for kids mm -hmm. when school's out. So that was one of the big amenities in Trisona and Sierra Cove. There was lots of parks interlaced into the communities. And if you live in Vera, you're allowed to use any park that's available. Not necessarily the clubhouse. Yeah, unless you're in Addison. Um, but like in Pangea, there is a pool. There is a pavilion area. There is bathrooms. I think there might be a kitchen area if you want to have parties by the... In Addison? Yeah, yeah in there's a, a little banquet hall. Not in Addison, in, in oh. Pangea, I'm sorry. Oh, Pangea, okay, yeah. sorry. And then there's a tot lot, a tennis court and pickleball. Mm -hmm. In Laurasia, that's, there is no amenities per se. It's not like there's a pool area, mm -hmm. pavilion like, like you see in Pangea. Um, it'll have trails. It's more nature forward, mm -hmm. more okay. preserve. So you're gonna have trails, outdoor exercise, a pavilion area, and a tot lot. Okay. So I'm not sure what's been planned for the new communities in Cross Malina and Farland Fields, like I said, unfortunately, <laughs> they haven't given us too much details. Just we know what type of products going in each 
We don't really have pricing. We don't even know what the houses look like. Yeah. So I always have that to be continued. Mm -hmm. And if somebody that I'm working with wants to wait for that, basically I just get them in my queue so that they get the updates and they'll get sure. notification. Okay. And so you are building? In Reeling Park. Yes. Mm -hmm. Clearly Reeling Park's your favorite neighborhood. No, I like a lot of them, but yeah, that for me it is. for you, yeah. Uh -huh. So why did you choose Sierra? For a couple of reasons. I, it literally one day, it was one of those uh, moments where I was talking to somebody and I was talking up Vera and all the benefits of living here and you'd be crazy not to live here. Yeah. And then I thought to myself, I'm like, you probably should take your own advice. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it was just not because I didn't want to buy with us. It's just, I owned my house for a long time and it's almost mm -hmm. paid off. Like, Do I really want to go start over again? And why Vera, why Reeling Park Courtyards? Um, it's funny because the buyer profile there, contrary to what most people would think, is a 55 plus buyer mm -hmm. because there are stairs. If you don't know it, it's courtyard is the outdoor living space and it's actually on the side of the house, not in the front. You don't have a big backyard or big front yard. And that's where you have a rear load garage. So you come into your house from the rear through an alleyway, your garage is back there and you come into your house. It just has somewhat of a lifestyle aspect. The front of the house and the back of the house, the yard care is included and including the irrigation maintenance and that. Plus our house is gonna get pressure washed and painted on mm. a scheduled basis. Mm. We're up by the big park area, so there's lots of activity up there. Mm -hmm. People walking their dogs, there's a dog park, there's a half basketball, volleyball, uh, things to do mm -hmm. right where we're building. And there's a brand new Publix, like their newest version of Publix is going with a cafe area. It's a two oh, story. Oh, it's a two story. Yeah. Yes. So that's going to be right behind us, actually. It's more of an urban lifestyle community. It's not like your typical, the buyer that wants to live there, it's a transitional buyer. They usually their kids are moved out and they're no longer living with them, but they don't want to downsize to, in their mind, a small house. They're not ready for that yet, mm -hmm. but they don't want to have a lot of maintenance. So they love the aspect of not having the yards mm -hmm. to maintain. And a lot of the floor plans in Reeling Park, the owner suites are downstairs. And so the secondaries are upstairs. Mm -hmm. And the one I'm buying in particular has two bedrooms down, mine and a secondary. I really don't feel like I'm gonna be going up and down the stairs much. I'm gonna right. mainly live on the first floor mm -hmm. and I'm gonna enjoy the lifestyle that the community offers. Yeah. The Also the aesthetic appeal of the neighbor, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. The architecturals took their cue from St. Augustine. It has more of that Spanish colonial. Yeah. And coming from California, it's something I'm very familiar with. They have three different elevations for each house, how the house looks. Two out of three have tile roofs. So a lot of that Spanish feels there. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it, it really is a switch up from our suburban style, right. you know, family communities. Right. It's definitely not a typical Florida no. community, at least in this area. Right. How much more time do you have left? They're telling me August. <gasps> That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking in a year. I was getting nervous when they said August. I'm like, oh, I gotta get my house ready. Yes. Are you so, gonna get a golf cart? Yeah. My yeah. husband goes, I don't see why we need it. I'm like, let's you have why to have you moved it. to Vieira. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. When you pass by the high school, there's a whole lot for golf carts. Yeah. It's when I started this how long I truly the OG, when I first and they opened the high school, there was a tiny little area for golf carts. And now it's, she say it's field. almost like the whole field? It's a whole field, yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Most cool of the kids don't even own cars. They Those kids they, are so lucky too. That's fun. I know. It's fun. I know. Could you imagine going to school in a golf cart? I'd be so stoked. Yeah. So there's a lot of things for kids to do. Yeah. 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 Different and age groups. Only yeah. 15, 20 minute drive to the beach too. Yeah. Which is great. Which but is you're great. still inland. It was so super... cool coming here. It's, I'm close to Merritt Island. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. close. I'm close oh, to. Oh yeah, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm close to anything that's on that corridor in Wickham. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, with all like the new stuff that's there. Mm -hmm. it, it's just so convenient to it everything. It is a great, it's a great location. And also it's great because you're close to the beach, but you're also away from the beach. And so and insurance. the good thing about that is your insurance. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Which is what makes it so desirable. And I new one build of the especially has better insurance rates. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think that's while we have for you today give me a call you can reach out you can call text email me or click that link below and we can set up a 30 minute call and then we'll go visit Susie, and she'll show you all the new construction oh, yeah or if you're interested in resale and i can <laughs> i know resale's cool but if it's new build i can sell into every neighbor that's the cool thing about my job yes. too i'm not just 
in the neighborhood that I'm sitting in at that time. I can sell into every active community that we have right now. Yeah, absolutely. So it doesn't matter what you're interested in, I pretty much can help you find yes, something. Yes, and Susie's the best sales rep. Thank you. And VR Builders. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you.